What's up, Techmans here, your source for tech. Today we're going to be looking at Google Maps. However, this maps are a little bit different in a sense that they actually made them now for the classic NES system. It blows my mind as well. I can't believe they're doing this. It is very, very cool. They're going to be bringing the classic systems alive again with the NES, Google Maps, and 8-bit. So let's take a look at the video. And we're going to have to view this in closed captioning because I don't have Soundflower, so. Google provides services of a wide range of devices. If you do from desktop computers see this. To mobile devices, including tablets. But we've long neglected one of the most popular computer systems ever sold. And I'm here to introduce Google Maps 8-bit version as a first product for NES. Technology. Well, first we developed a new type of car bridge with dial-up technology allowing the NS to connect to Google. We run more than $100 servers to overcome the NS's technical limitations. 8-bit maps are generated by Google's cloud in real time. It's really easy to use. Insert the cartridge, connect the cable, then turn the power on. Blow on the cartridge to fix bugs and you're automatically connected to the internet. Let's start from the title screen. Select search and enter the name or place, just like the regular Google Maps. So as you can see, it brings you to your place where you want to on the NES system. I like the music too. Very, very nice. You can of course search a route to your destination. You can also search with your voice using the pad to mic. <laughs> I like that sound. Google Maps 8 bit version is soon be available in Google Store. But for now, you can play the trial version by going to Google Maps and click the Quest button on the top right corner. So as you can see, Google Maps is now available in the NES version and we can actually take a quick look at it before it comes out. So let's go to the Google Maps. Okay, so now we're on Google Maps and basically it says it's on your NES system. So like they said, if you want to get to the NES version of this, all you have to do is hit Quest. And as you can see, I have a full 8-bit resolution of the world and Google Maps. But it gets a lot more complicated than this. Let's say we want to go to some place like uh, Smuggler's Notch in Vermont. Hit search. So now as you can see, we can see part of Smuggler's Notch and the 8-bit resolution. So let's zoom in a little bit. You can even see the uh, the high resolution trees in the background as you can see. And let's go a bit further and let's explore the land in 3D. And actually you can do this on the NES version which is very nice. So let's take this and we'll draw and bring them down. So let's put them about right here. And as you can see, the wonders of 8-bit technology, we're actually able to see a fully drawn version of Google Maps. You can even see a person who's skiing. This obviously was in the winter because you can see the blue. Look how fast it works, even for an 8-bit console. I'm very, very impressed. It's very nice. Zoom out a little bit. And I can see a full 3D picture of Vermont. Look at the resolution of this. I mean, this is this is amazing. This is actually for an NES system. I'll be picking it up personally for my 
NES system that I got a while ago. Now let's get out of this street view. And let's go back. So let's zoom out. Now let's try to go to New York City. So as you can see, and we'll zoom in, we can see New York City right from here. And if you take a look right here, you can even see a driver. See people walking. I'm going to go a little bit further. Look at the 3D wonder of 8-bit. It really, really looks realistic. And this is for a system that was developed over 30 years ago. I'm really, really impressed with this. You can even read the signs. Even it being an 8-bit, you can read the signs. Open 24 hours. And that's Dunkin' Donuts and the Baskin Robbins. You can even read that in 8-bit. But what impresses me the most is that this was developed very, very fast and announced very, very fast today. And as you can see, it gives us a full view of the street view. And we can even see rivers. You just zoom in a little. You can even get our little guy to see part of the rivers here. Huh. That's weird. It developed in... Different. Hmm. What does this tell us? Why can we see this? We shouldn't be able to see this in, in full resolution. This is not right here. Let's go back. Close that down. And let's try to get a better street view of this area. We can even see the guy move around while we're looking. Some guy in a suit. Looks like a cop of some sorts. But as you can see, this is the new Google Maps. And it's developed for the NES system. It will be coming out very soon. Today, they basically announced it. Today's date is April 1st, 2012. And I hope you guys had a good April Fool's Day. So we will continue with another video that's not so much April Fool's uh, today. So just be aware if you are watching this that there's another video that's going to be uploaded and it's not April Fool's whatsoever. It's actually running Google Apps on your PC, which you can get with a beta download. But that's pretty much it, guys, for today. I hope you liked this video. I really, really liked what Google did with this April Fool's Day joke. It is awesome, to say in the least, and I hope they actually uh, keep this thing just as a joke to download. It's just, it's really cool to see what the minds at Google come up with on April 1st. So thank you guys again for watching this video. If you like this video, I appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe to my channel, we will definitely produce more content for you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I am Tech Miss, your source for tech.